Hi, it's Daphne. Welcome to my channel. I'm starting a new New York City reading vlog. I hope you enjoy. I'm so excited to start this vlog today. I've got kind of a lot going on reading wise this week. It's already Thursday, but I was on Instagram and I saw Kaylee and Eliza had just wrapped up a buddy read and I was like, yo, Kaylee, can I be in a buddy read with you guys next time? And she was like, totally for sure. So we were chatting and we decided to buddy read a YA fantasy. This is a little outside of like my typical reading habits. I don't pick up a lot of YA, but for my girls, I will try something different. So I've picked up the book, it's Graceling. I'm listening to it via audiobook from my library. I'm enjoying it so far. I have my expectations set at like the YA level. So I'm expecting like a less drastically intense story than adult, like adult, like the romance is like a lot. And then the violence can be like a lot. So far, the book is about a young woman who is graced with this power to be like extra skilled in fighting and killing. So she's like pretty much the king's assassin to a degree, but she's going off on her own thing to like do right by the kingdom and all this stuff. And she's a cool character, I'm enjoying her, but she doesn't love killing. And the writing style you can just see is a little more YA, but I'm just so excited to like chat about it on Instagram with my two new friends. So that is a fun experience. So I'm reading The Cartographers and then The Graceling book. I also started reading this nonfiction, How to Win Friends and Influence People, and it's going really well so far. I read like the prologue in the first chapter. I'm annotating it. I'm having a really good time. I find the advice to be pretty spot on and I'm trying to implement it into my life already with my partner and things like that. So yes, I definitely want to keep reading that, but I probably won't finish it in this vlog. So that might be the last time I bring it up. And then on my Kindle, I'm reading a monster romance. It is The Company of Fiends. It's the second book in a series. I read the first one a few months ago. It is a reverse harem monster series. And yeah, that's a fun time so far too. There's a little bit of a murder mystery aspect going on in it as well. The main character, her name is Hazel. She works at like a sex theater and it's her story with a couple of the monster guys. Um, some people that work in the theater and a detective and yeah i'm excited to see where it goes it's pretty chill so far um it's a chill oh, maybe it's not chill but like i'm like taking my time with it you know we'll see what i get up to over the next couple days i might be going to a baseball game or i might go to the pool i'm not sure yet but i have an exciting update for like my apartment i upgraded my work from home setup because i still work from home every single day and look what i have going on now so I have this new standing desk. I have my work laptop up on a stand to put it up on eye level. And then I have this new monitor with the camera. And yeah, this background, I mean, Windows picks the backgrounds. I did not pick this. Honestly, this one kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> not because I'm scared of sharks, but just like, look at their eyes. They just look, their eyes are just creeping me out. Um, and then I just have my personal laptop here. I've been, I started editing another vlog. It makes working so much more enjoyable and oh, having two screens is game changing. I've been working off a laptop for way too long. Anyway, I will catch up with you later when I have an update on where I am with the reading. Hi, it's actually the same day, but a bit later. It's after work. I went to the gym, showered, washed my face and everything, but put my makeup back on because Chase asked me to go grab a drink with him and his buddy. So that's what I'm going to go do. listening to Graceling. I'm like 40% in and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I will say our main hero, Katza, has like anger problems. Um, there's a bit of romance in the story too, which I wasn't expecting. I didn't really know that much about the book when I went in. She's also met this other guy. His name is Poe. He is also a Graceling as well, but his skill in fighting isn't as strong as hers. And we find out more about his grace as well. There's some complexity behind that. And they have this attraction towards each other that is developing on the story. Now they're going on this little adventure. Poe's grandfather was kidnapped and they're trying to figure out what the motivation behind that was and 
what secret maneuverings are going on within the realm, within the other kingdoms and kings and political stuff. The purpose of the story is kind of like light, like the plot is very light, but we're just along for the ride and I'm more entertained because I do love a good romance, so I'm here for that. I know it's YA, so it's definitely gonna be pretty innocent, but our characters are adult, so who knows? <laughs> And then speaking of adult books, I have made a lot of progress in Company of Fiends as well. I think I'm about 40% of the way through that. And it's a really fun time. I really like our main heroine. Her name is Hazel, like I've said. I like her more than the heroine in the first book in this series because she doesn't like instantly fall in love with her men. Each relationship with each man is very unique and different. And unlike this other reverse harem vampire book I read recently by Katie Roberts. Each man has like depth and complexity and feels more fleshed out and real. So I'm really having a good time with it. And I'm excited to see where the mystery part of the plot goes. I'm excited to see how her relationships with each man evolves um, because each one is com complicated. And yeah, it's a good time, so. I'm about to head out to Hoboken to hang out with Ina. Originally, we were gonna go to the pool, but it's very cloudy, like rainy on and off day. So we're just gonna go to Hoboken, go to the pier, get some drinks and just hang out and have a good time. Probably go back to her place, meet up with a couple more friends and I'll just see where the night takes me. Chase isn't hanging out with us. He's got like another concert. He's been to like four concerts in the last three weekends. So, and I don't care about concerts as much as he does. So I just pass. But yeah, we did go out to dinner together yesterday. I didn't vlog it though. All right, so let's go out. day I finally finished reading the Gracelings audiobook I ended up giving it three stars it was a pretty fun time you know I went in understanding that it was YA and the romance was only gonna go so far but all that in consideration I enjoyed the romance storyline and had the best time reading it with Kaylee and Eliza we were talking about it on Instagram and stuff so my first like official YouTube buddy read and I had a blast. I will say the plot part with like the villain kind of resolved very quickly and in my opinion too much of it was like traveling. We were just like in the woods traveling for maybe 60 plus percent of the book and then whenever we got to our destinations things just like happened really fast and resolved really quickly so but at the, at the end of the day it's mostly about the romance I guess and that part I really liked. I'm pretty confident I read this in middle school because I just vividly remember Poe. I didn't remember his name or anything about the story, but I just remembered he had one golden eye. He has a one gold eye and one silver eye, and I was like in love with him. And I just remember him being in the woods. And I was like, it had to be this book. <laughs> so that was fun too and nostalgic. Though at times I will say, I wasn't sure if I was remembering the plot or if the plot was just that easy to guess. I think it was probably a mix of both. But yeah, three stars. Now I'm reading The Cartographers. I'm already a third of the way in. I put it on pause while I was listening to the Gracelings book, but I am really enjoying this so far. It's very like subtle in the way the mystery is being unraveled. Like I still don't know anything, but like you start to figure out who the players are in the game. And I'm just like reading it last night. And I'm like, oh, Francis, you know, like, I just heard about Francis word of mouth from this other person and then all of a sudden he's there and I'm like what and there's definitely magical stuff going on like people are just vanishing out of thin air and yeah I'm just like really intrigued there are also images in here so they have like the map from 1910 of the New York Public Library and like the street and I just love that too I was not expecting pictures I'm very entertained even though it's very subtle like not a lot is happening, but like, I keep gasping. I don't know why I keep gasping. I'm just like really into it. I, I catch myself like reading and I'm like, what, you know? So it's getting good emotional reactions out of me. So I'm having a good time. And then the last book that I already mentioned in this vlog, The Company of Fiends, I'm about 65% of the way through. It's a very long book. It's like over 500 pages. I'm enjoying it a lot. 
I like how all the men are very unique. They have like this imp named Ronan, so he's basically like what you would imagine a demon looks like. He's red, he's got horns, he's got like bat wings, and then there's this guy with like six arms, and then there's another guy who's an orc, so he's like this big green warrior gentleman guy, and then there's this demon called the Gemini, and he splits into two people, and one causes a lot of pain, and one causes a lot of pleasure. There's also a detective who's half human, half fae, and he has these beautiful like shadow wings that he keeps hidden. And she, Hazel, is like getting to know all of these men and wasn't like planning on being in a reverse harem, but the guys are like so in love with her that they're like, we'll make this work. So we're kind of in that part of the story. There's still the murder mystery thing going on, but that's slowly being unraveled. That part is like, whatever, whatever, like it keeps the thread line for the story and it gives like the story purpose, but it's about Hazel and her falling in love with all these different guys and how much they love her and how unique they are and I'm having a great time. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you like reverse harem monster romances in particular and you don't need to read the first book in this series. They're definitely standalones. I'm not done yet, but I already know that. <laughs> okay, I will catch you later. Hey. It is later in the day. I have the window open. It's very hot. There's like a risk of a blackout, so I don't have the AC running because I'm a nice person and I don't want to be like contributing to the blackout or whatever. But anyway, I got some exciting book mail. I took advantage of the Amazon Prime Day sale and got the Mistborn trilogy for like almost 50% off, I think. I think I got it for like 18 bucks, the three books. Um, they're in mass market paperback. And I haven't read a Brandon Sanderson before, but I really want to try it out. These aren't my favorite covers either, but whatever. So it's the first one, Mistborn, the second one, The Well of Ascension, and the last one, The Hero of Ages. I think it's like an extended series. I think there's like Mistborn series, like the first part, and then maybe there's another part. I don't, I don't know the drama of it. But yeah, I'm really excited to have picked that up so I can finally try Brandon Sanderson's work. And his stuff is like not really available at the library. Like some of them are in audiobook, but I don't want to listen to them on audio. So now I have my own copies and hopefully I like the first one because I've committed to the whole series. So, and funnily enough, I just posted my book haul video. So this one will be going in the next round of book hauls. Hi friends, I finally finished A Company of Fiends the other day actually, it's been a couple days, and I ended up giving it four stars. It was a really fun time. I will say the book was extremely long, longer than it probably needed to be, but when you consider she's really paying attention to each relationship in the harem with five to seven men because one of them is a Gemini and he like has one personality or he's like one person and then he splits into two separate people, so that's like three in one. It makes sense that it's really long. There is an overarching like enemy in the series, this guy Bersha, so it went into that again. Um, that part is like interesting enough, but it's not like my favorite. I'm just kind of like trying to get through it. I will say I didn't really skim that much in this book, so that's good as well. I really enjoyed each of the men. They were all very unique. I had a favorite, it was Ronan the Imp. I would recommend it if you were in the mood for a monster romance. It is a bit of a marathon because it's so long. And I definitely preferred the second book in the series over the first book. The first book went into the back story of the nemesis too much and I just got bored. But yeah, the second book I really enjoyed a lot more. So. I'm ending the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in another video. Bye.
bye.